Hello and welcome to my demonstration speech. Today I'll be showing you how to edit a video for YouTube or any other format really. I will be showing whoever's watching how to collect slash organize footage, how to edit that footage with music, and then lastly how to add details to the video to make it a really professional looking video for either YouTube or any other type of format. So to begin this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about a YouTuber that I really like called Jeffree Star, and he makes over $18 million off of his YouTube videos alone, and that's because he has millions and millions of followers that watch his videos multiple times a week because he posts multiple times a week, and these videos that he posts are 18 to 20 minutes long, and they're very high quality videos. To be quite honest, pretty much everybody at some point has wondered can I make thousands of dollars by being a famous YouTuber? It just seems to be like such an easy solution to any type of problem, but the editing process is actually really intricate. So that's why today I want to show you how to do that. I currently work for College of St. Mary's marketing team. I am working on a actual YouTube series project with a friend of mine, Rachel, where we go around and capture videos about CSM and the community surrounding CSM. To make these videos really sharp and professional looking, I have to know how to collect and organize my footage, I have to know how to edit it and add music so that it's not dull at any point, and I have to also know how to add details and edit like the picture quality or the sound quality in all of this footage to make it one big, really good looking video that people are actually interested in watching. So my first point of this video is that you need to know how to collect and organize your footage. This is a crucial step to the video making process because if your footage is too shaky or blurry or the colors are blown out, you won't be able to use that footage because it's frankly too distracting and not very fun to watch because you're too busy worrying about what are you actually seeing and instead of enjoying what you're seeing. So here I'll show a video of when the other day my friend Rachel and I were out doing some shooting around campus and I like to use my D3300 camera but you can also just use your phone. I use my phone sometimes as well and I really like to use a drone that I have which you'll see some shots here of that drone. Then you'll want to be sure to upload all that footage to your computer and put it into the software that you'll be using to edit. I really like iMovie. It's pretty easy and pretty much anybody can understand how to use it. I currently am using a software called Final Cut Pro and that's kind of the big leagues type editing software and I really enjoy it. And that is the software I'll be showing you how to edit with. Lastly, I try to kind of clip through all these talking parts just because um, some of it you might not be able to hear what we're saying or we might be stuttering and maybe frankly none of it's able to be used so we might have to re-record that one point all over again. So it's really good to, in the beginning of this whole process, go through that and cut through all those clips. Once you have all your footage organized and you kind of have an idea of what you want out of this video, then you can move on to the second step. The second step is editing your clips of speaking or like b-roll of your surroundings to music. I really like to include music. Some people don't use music. I use music because I think that if somebody is just talking uh, to, a, to a camera, it's frankly kind of boring and I really enjoy just kind of hearing a soft little lull of music underneath in the background. So first you have to find this music. I like to go to just YouTube and type in copyright free music. That way you know that you're able to post it to YouTube at least and maybe some other websites and you won't get um, demonetized for that. The way that I get the music detached from these videos on YouTube is I use a YouTube to MP3 converter online. It's pretty simple. You just put the link in there and you download it to your computer, totally safe, and then you just throw it into your software. Once you have the music in your software, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is kind of add one little clip to your timeline of like maybe b-roll or something and then you throw in the music underneath and that's what it attaches to and then from there you can edit your music the rest of the way and add or take away any clips that you may or may not want in there. 
the last thing you really want to do with this music is make sure that during the talking parts you cut the footage and lower the volume of that music so that you're actually able to hear what people are saying. So now that your video for the most part is complete with music and uh, multiple footage clips, you want to add your final details. And these details are composed of just color correcting all of your shots, uh, cleaning up any audio that might be scratchy or have a lot of background noise to it, and adding title cards anywhere that somebody is speaking that hasn't been introduced yet. So first off to do this, I add a compressor effect to all the audio that I have. This just allows the vocals to pop out from over the background music and whatever might be in the background of the audio. Secondly, I'll go through each clip and color correct all of them. Even if the clips look good without this editing, you still really want to be sure to do something to it because it really makes it look professional and pretty timeless in the end. So lastly, once you have all that done, you want to add name cards for anybody who's speaking. I don't do this in every video, but in videos that we do interviews, I definitely be sure to do that. This is important in case the person maybe mumbles their name, because usually when you're doing these interviews, it's kind of a one-shot type of situation, and uh, you want to be sure that the person gets credit for where credit to do. Now that you've made all these last-minute touch-ups, you're now able to watch your full work come to life and enjoy it. So thanks for sticking around and having me help you understand how to collect and organize footage, how to edit this footage with music, and how to add details to the video for whether or not you want to upload it to YouTube or any other type of platform. I appreciate you watching and letting me help you with your first stepping stone to not only making possibly thousands of dollars on YouTube, but you can happily publish your new hobby for everybody and anyone to see. Hey, hey, welcome to Enrollment Services. Yeah.